Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is going to be another lecture of this number theory series. And in this lecture, we are going to solve this problem: GCD queries taken from Code Chef. So this lecture is in continuation to the previous lecture, lecture eight, from number theory series, where I've, uh, where we have talked about uh, Euclidean algorithm to calculate GCD. Now we are taking on this problem, which says you are given an array of size n you are given an integer array and you have q queries of form l and r and you have to print the gcd of the array excluding range lr basically you have to exclude the range lr and you have to find the gcd of the remaining elements of in uh, array so if we take the example this is 3 3 that is uh, there are three elements and there are three queries. We read the integers. Now the first query says 1 1 that is you have to exclude first element the remaining are 6 and 9 and then the GCD of 6 and 9 is 3. Now the second query says 2 2 that is you have to exclude the second element and then the GCD of first and third that is 2 and 9 is 1 that is the answer is 1. The third query says 2 3 that is exclude these two elements then the GCD of 2 is actually 2 because the highest number that can divide a number that number itself so the GCD of that number is 2 so we have we are supposed to print the answer of a query in uh, log n time or constant time whatever you can so we are going to see how we can solve this problem uh, in log n time with n log n uh, pre-processing time so the way to approach this problem is suppose for uh, to answer a query l and r suppose i already had the gcd of first l minus one elements and that was g1 and that i had gcd of the remaining last element that is r plus one to n and the gcd was n2 then the answer of query l and r would be simply gcd of g1 comma g2 since we had to exclude a range L and R and that is what we did here. We included only elements from 1 to L minus 1 and then R plus 1 to N. And this, this works because if you have a set of integers say x1, x2, x3, dash 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 xn and their GCD is G1 and you also have another set of elements which are y1, y2, y3, dash, 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 ym, then, uh, and their GCD was g2, then the GCD of whole set combined, that is the GCD of the complete integers, all these integers, is going to be only GCD of g1, comma g2. You already had GCD of first set and already had GCD of second set. To find the GCD of all the elements combined, all you got to do is find the GCD of set1, comma set2. And that is what we are going to uh, we are doing here we know the gcd from 1 to l minus 1 is g1 and gcd of element from r plus 1 to n is g2 so the gcd of overall elements excluding these would be gcd of g1 comma g2 now but we need to find or uh, the gcd of element from 1 to l minus 1 uh, in constant time uh, if you see this thing 1 to l minus 1 this tells you something it is basically prefix and this r plus 1 to n is actually suffix so what we are going to do is we are going to prepare a prefix and a suffix gcd array so now we would be having an array pre that is that stands for prefix so prefix array to store the gcd of first i elements at position i so prefix of i pre of i would be equal to gcd of ar of 1 comma 2 comma dash 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 ar of i that is at ith position of prefix array we are storing the gcd of us i elements so to get a uh, gcd of first l minus 1 element all you have to do is take pre of l minus 1 that's all the question is how we can construct prefix array so that is just initialize the zeroth position with zero uh, because prefix uh, we are taking 
prefix of a zero elements to be zero because uh, to construct prefix i we need prefix of i minus one that is uh, to construct prefix four we need gcd of us three elements and then to extend it to four elements that is to calculate prefix of four all we can do is take the gcd of us three elements then uh, find gcd of first three element comma the fourth element this way we can calculate prefix of four so to calculate prefix of i we need prefix of i minus one already calculated so calculate prefix of one i need prefix of zero since prefix of one that is prefix of first element the gcd of first element is going to be that element itself so if you keep prefix of zero to be zero then when i is one so ar of one is going to be that element itself and gcd of any element taken with zero is actually that element itself so that is why we are initializing prefix of zero to be zero and then we are calculating it prefix of i are running a loop from one to n and prefix prefix of i we are calculating using prefix of i minus one so prefix of i that is gcd of first i elements is equals to gcd of ith element comma gcd of last i minus one th element so this way we are able uh, able to construct prefix gcd array same goes for the suffix gcd array suffix of i would contain gcd of last and minus i plus one elements that is suffix of i would contain gcd of ar of i comma ar of i plus one comma ar of i plus two dash 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 n so starting from index i to n gcd uh, suffix of i contains gcd of all elements starting from index i to n the question is how we can construct suffix array it's easy now this time to construct the suffix array for index i we need suffix array of index i plus one and that is why uh, since the loop would run from n to one this time so that is why the index n plus one should be initialized with zero again for the same reason because zero does not affect uh, the gcd operation and since n plus 1 is not part of a valid range so n plus 1 must be initialized with 0 so it doesn't affect a uh, gcd of any other element now suffix of i is equals to just taken uh, suffix of i plus 1 a uh, taken gcd with ith element this way we would construct the suffix array and after doing that all we have to do for l and r query we will take prefix of l minus 1 gcd of prefix of l minus 1 comma suffix of r plus 1 and that is how we are going to solve this problem so let's jump into the editor and code oh uh, this is the code let's just remove remove everything and start coding from scratch so now uh, there are going to be t test cases that is why i have taken t n and q to read number of queries and number of oh sorry let me yes this should be good now it should be visible so there are uh, t for test cases q and n for number of queries or and number of elements and then l and r ar as you already know is array to store the integer array uh, n and q and then we run a loop sorry we'll run our loop from 1 to n and then take input into the integer array now pre and suff as already explained are prefix gcd array and suffix gcd array now uh, pre of 0 would be equal to 0 and also suffix of n plus 1 is going to be 0 so we have initialized that now we would run a loop from 1 to n and then initialize the prefix array to do that what we are going to do is pre of i is equals to gcd of pre of i minus 1 comma ar of i this way we are initializing the prefix array to initialize the suffix array we will run a loop from n to 1 this time and then suffix of index i is equals to 
जी सी डी ऑफ ए आर ऑफ आई कॉमा सफिक्स ऑफ आई प्लस वन नाउ आफ्टर डूइंग दैट ईच टाइम नाउ वी वुड प्रोसीड फॉर द क्वेरीज ईच टाइम वी वुड रीड एल एंड आर एस एंड सिंपली प्रिंट जी सी डी ऑफ प्री ऑफ एल माइनस वन बिकॉज वी नीड जी सी डी ऑफ फर्स्ट एल माइनस वन एलिमेंट्स एंड दैट इज स्टोर्ड इन प्रीफिक्स जी सी डी एर एंड देन वी वुड नीड जी सी डी ऑफ लास्ट इंटीजर्स लास्ट स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम आर प्लस वन टू एन एंड दैट इज स्टोर्ड एट इंडेक्स आर प्लस वन इन सफिक्स एर एंड देन सिंपली टेक द जी सी डी ऑफ दीज टू दैट वुड बी द आंसर नाउ ऑल वी आर लेफ्ट टू डू इज कंस्ट्रक्ट द जी सी डी फंक्शन दिस आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर लेक्चर एट ऑफ नंबर थ्योरी सीरीज हाउ टू कैलकुलेट जी सी डी यूजिंग यूक्लिडी नैल कर दूँ सो यू रिमेंबर फ्रॉम देयर इफ बी इज इक्वल टू जीरो सिंपली रिटर्न ए अदरवाइज रिटर्न जी सी डी ऑफ बी कॉमा ए मोडिलो बी एंड दैट्स ऑल एंड एंड दिस शुड वर्क विदाउट एनी आर को यस आई एम हैविंग आर ओ सॉरी इट्स नॉट कैपिटल आर इज स्मॉल आर सो लेट्स टेक द टेस्ट केसेस फ्रॉम द प्रॉब्लम एंड दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम जी सी डी क्वेरीज फ्रॉम कोर्ट शेफ सो दीज आर द टेस्ट केसेस इस Take the test cases and run them to see whether the answer is correct or not. And my printing and l. Oh yeah, we need to print next line as well. So answer of first query is three. Answer of second query is one. Answer of third query is two. so at least sample test cases are passing let's just submit this no oh, sorry what is this i need it to submit oh sorry so simply submit it and this should be ac because i have tested already but don't remember whether i have made some changes in the code which leads to a bug or something otherwise there should be an ac so waiting 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 you guys can skip for 10 seconds i guess come on takes too much time yep the running time is the execution time was 2.08 second while the time limit was 3 seconds so we are well behind our time limit so uh this was how we solve our gcd problem this was just the first problem we'll be taking on some advanced problems of gcd as well so I hope you've learned something from it, and if you have any di the uh, doubts or queries, just post them in the comments. And yeah, try try some of the problems yourself. Just go to Hacker Art or somewhere, or go to the Code Chef. I mean, let me show you. Just go to here. All the problems sorted by tags. Go there. Just find tag GCD. Uh, after this loads just yeah these are the tags just go for control f and search gcd there you can find like there are 36 problems of various uh level like easy medium beginner try to solve problems as much as you can in the meantime uh till the next video drops so thank you guys for watching and yep keep coding thank you